Welcome to the Unit 6.2 Synopsis video. This video gives a big picture look at Unit 6.2, introducing the Unit Challenge Scenario, the Flow of Lessons, PEs, and the Content Background Required. Unit 6.2 is designed for the 6th grade and is the second unit for the school year. It's comprised of 10 lessons, including the Lesson Opener and Unit Closer, requiring a minimum of 29 50-minute class periods. The semester unifying cross-cutting concept is Systems and Systems Modeling. The full title of Unit 6.2 is Modeling Body Systems, the RAD Disease. You're probably asking yourself, what is the RAD Disease? It's the random acts of dancing, or singing, disease. In this unit, students learn of a mysterious outbreak affecting the teachers in their school. Students are challenged to identify the source of the outbreak, the type of pathogen responsible for the outbreak, how it affects the human body, and how tissue engineering could be used to help repair the damage. The unit challenge question is, how does a mystery pathogen make people sick, and how can we come up with a treatment plan? As presented to the students in the unit challenge scenario, some of the adults in their school are acting strange. They've been randomly waving their hands, scratching their heads, and doing the funky chicken, random acts of dance and singing, but it doesn't happen all the time. None of the sixth graders are affected. Students are contacted by the CDC and tasked with collecting evidence and coming to conclusions about a mystery pathogen. Students first identify how evidence can be used to trace the source of the pathogen, and then how to determine different types of pathogens. Students study the organization of organ systems and their subsystems down to the cellular level, and how the interaction of those systems leads to healthy body function. They use their new understanding to determine the organ system affected by the RAD pathogen. Students then learn about the field of tissue engineering and how tissue engineering solutions could be implemented to help their teachers. This unit is built around the concept of biological systems and subsystems based on structure and function. In other words, the unit emphasizes how organisms are comprised of multiple interacting subsystems whose functions are determined by their structure. Modeling these systems and subsystems is a major focus in the unit. Teachers need to understand the interactions of cells, tissues, organ, and organ systems at their various scales. You should also be aware of major cell organelles like the nucleus, mitochondria, and cell membrane, the differences between viruses and bacteria, as well as basic microscope use. If you are not confident about your knowledge of these topics, review the teacher background content resources, which are listed under the unit content resources in the MyStar portal, as well as in the lesson plans. We're now going to focus our attention on brief summaries of the lessons that compose Unit 6.2. In common with all MyStar units, the first lesson serves to engage students in our topic, how a mystery pathogen can make people sick. After uncovering students' thoughts and ideas about epidemiology, students are introduced to the unit challenge question and unit challenge. Through the creation of a class unit bubble map, students have the opportunity to think about what they need to learn in order to answer and address the question and challenge. The unit bubble map will be revisited and updated during the unit, reflecting the greater understanding students achieve as they progress through each lesson. For Lesson 2, students conduct an investigation to determine the source of an 18th century cholera outbreak. In the Connect phase, students use the same investigation process to determine the source of their teacher's epidemic. In Lesson 3, students explore a variety of living and non-living things to determine what the living things all have in common, cells. The students use this information to identify the pathogen that is causing the epidemic, which is a virus. During Lesson 4, students explore the interactions of organ systems and how each of the system's functions depends on its structure. Students use their teacher's symptoms to determine which organ systems are affected by the virus. For Lesson 5, students dive deeper into the subsystems of the organ systems, organs, tissues, and cells. Students discover how different types of cells make up different tissues and how different types of tissues make up different organs. 
The students use this information, along with information provided in a CDC update, to determine that the cells of the nervous tissue are infected with the virus. In Lesson 6, students model how a healthy cell functions through the actions of its organelles. Organelles such as the nucleus, mitochondria, and cell membrane all have specific structure that enables the organelle to perform its function. All organelles must function properly in order for the cell to survive and function correctly. During Lesson 7, students examine the effects of a virus on an otherwise healthy cell. They realize disruptions at the cellular level can lead to symptoms at the organ system level. Students update their model to show the virus's mechanism of action to get into the cell, take over the nucleus, and eventually cause the cell membrane to rupture, killing the cell. At this point in the unit, students have determined the type of pathogen and how it affects the body. Now they move to the next phase, which is developing a solution to repair the damage caused by the virus. Students are directed to review several promising tissue engineering designs and evaluate the solutions to determine if they should be considered. Students practice these skills on a wide range of articles, where students are challenged to evaluate the author's expertise and bias, as well as evaluate how developed this research is. Students are introduced to the expertise, bias, and research continuums, which serve as a tool for this analysis. Having identified several tissue engineering designs using their continuum tools, students next evaluate the pros and cons of each of the designs in Lesson 9. Students review the features of the remaining designs and attempt to optimize a tissue engineering solution by combining the best features of the available designs while minimizing the poor features. Students explain why their tissue engineering design will work using a model of their design as part of their evidence. In the unit closer, student teams present their findings, from the first signs of the outbreak all the way through to their optimized tissue engineering design. Following the presentations and through a class discussion, students come to consensus on which optimized tissue engineering designs will best address the damage caused by the virus. We've now looked at all the lessons in Unit 6.2. Let's recap a few key points before ending this video. Unit 6.2 is built around the concept of biological systems and subsystems based on structure and function. There is also an emphasis on the interaction of cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems at their various scales. As students address the unit challenge, they identify how evidence can be used to trace the source of a pathogen and how to determine different types of pathogens. Students study the organization of organ systems and their subsystems down to the cellular level and how the interaction of those systems leads to healthy body function. They use their new understanding to determine the organ system affected by the RAD pathogen. Students then learn about the field of tissue engineering and how tissue engineering solutions could be implemented to help their teachers. You can find out more about Unit 6.2 by taking the Unit 6.2 Primer course and looking at the resources on the MyStar website at the address at the top of this page. Thank you for watching the MyStar Unit 6.2 Synopsis video.